All right. So we uh we have three done so far. A victimless crime is done. Goblins is done. All right, let's go to a new uh, let's start a new one. How about this fort looking one? None shall pass. Uh, test your metal. Defeat a skeleton. That seems pretty easy. We've 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 defeated skeleton before, haven't we? I'm pretty sure we have. Which blessing should I start with? Hugging a bottle or warrior spirit? Which one was it? Was it trickster's favorite? Uh, how about we do Trickster's Favor? That gives us one extra loot choice slot after the first two fights. So instead of picking between three, we could pick between four. That'll give us the uh, a better chance of finding that one beautiful item. Test your metal. All right, so this is us. And our goal is to defeat a skeleton, correct? So let's see what you can do, adventurer. Yeah, defeat one skeleton. Here's one skeleton. Uh, we don't have to go immediately to it. We can find, if we can find ways around it, then we can go around it. So how about, ooh, Mysterious Fountain. How about I'll put this here. We'll see if it ends up good or not. Oh, of course not. It's the Fountain of Combustion. Uh, fighters gain burn next fight. Which means each, each turn they'll take one damage. At the end of each turn. So it kind of speeds it up. If we know what we're doing, then we could be good. It doesn't sound too hot, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the corridor here. And I can put down one more item. Right now, we're going to go to the Fountain of Combustion unless I give the Cat Burglar. Adniza? Unless I give Adniza uh, a reason not to. How about we go over here, Adniza? Okay, good. Ah, cat jokes. All right, cat versus rat. It has a unbiteable, unblockable bite. Uh, how about we throw the cat? Covetous. Oh, plus one loot choice. Okay. That was actually going to help us in this battle. Another unblockable bite. How about we do catnip? It'll give us a bonus attack this turn. Then we can do throw cat and the game's over. And that game's over. Yeah, yo. Leveled up already. Okay. Oh, we pick between not four, but five. That's a lot. Soldier's helmet. I remember our offhand is what we need to keep free so that we don't really lose anything that would be helpful for us. Soldier's helmet gives us one health. Troll femur gives us four attacks, one of which is a... Uh, uh, paper crown gives us holy seal. I think that's the one we want. And then the fork gives us slice. The wooden board gives us three repels, but remember, we need to keep our offhand empty. We're going paper crown, right? Yeah, paper crown it is. So we got holy uh holy seal. We have a room, several corridors, another room and a goblin. Uh let's see. We can put a Oh, we can't put any of these down here. How about let's see. Let's look at the skeleton. Skeleton has brittle. That's the one if we deal 4 damage to it in one turn, it'll take 2 extra damage. How about we uh we give him a reason to come back this way. Please work. Damn, she's going to go right to the skeleton. All right, fine. Fine. We go here. And then we have this room here. She's not going to go to the skeleton first. She's going to go to the, the fountain. I didn't even see what fountain that was. Found a conceal. Lovely. In our next fight, we don't get to know what attacks our enemies are using before they use it. And there is no convincing her to go back up. No convincing her at all. That makes me sad. She's gonna die. Alright. So we don't get to know what attack our enemy is using until it's actually in effect. This is gonna be not good. Whatever the opposite of good is. Uh, bad. <laughs> Just throw cat. Uh oh. I'm, it's gonna block one. That sucks. We don't get to know at all. There's no planning. Here's Throw Cat. Dang. All right. We're both at half health. Oh, I don't want to waste this. Here's Holy Seal. Okay, good. Oh, I did it in the best possible case. It healed me and it prevented me from throwing away a card. How about we do Catnip? Scratch. Catnip. Ah. 
This isn't good at all. Uh, next physical attack. Okay, so I wonder if that will stack though. Let's let's test it. I mean, we're here. Let's test it. Yes, it stacks. Okay, so our next physical attack will deal two bonus physical damage. Um, I don't want this. If this kills me, then obviously I'm dead. But if it doesn't kill me, I think we can win. As long as she won't, the skeleton won't heal over this turn or the next turn. Damn. Never mind. There's three unblockables. Holy seal. Holy seal has to work. Like there has to only be one one damage, or we're in trouble. Damn. Uh, I'm gonna lose. The only way I'm gonna win this, the only way I can guarantee a win here. Is if this attack doesn't deal any damage, which you know has not happened once for this entire deck. And then I do catnip and do scratch. I don't think we can win this. I'm pretty sure we can't win this. Yeah. Every, every, I knew I wasn't going to. I knew I wasn't. This is the guild of dungeoneering where dungeoneers all come to die. One by one, they're disappearing. So now you should say your goodbyes. Bye bye. <sighs> the deck had all attacks, so I knew I knew we were gonna lose. It's okay. Sorry, Atniza. Let's try it again. Let's run it back. All right, we're going with oldest the Bruiser. Uh, Bruiser has more defensive abilities. Well. Everyone has more defensive abilities than the cat burglar. Uh, so it should it should fare well against the skeleton. This this is just proving that certain classes are stronger than others given the situation. Uh, let's try and make it so that he doesn't go immediately to the the skeleton. Oldest versus a rat. Um unblockable attack. Here's Oi. Battle scars. And spiky. Let's see. This is plus one. Oh, minus one starting hand size. Oh, okay. I I understand. Spiky. If we can prevent all damage, then we can deal one damage. This rat isn't a. This rat isn't going to be too much of a a trouble. Well, let's block and let's deal. Heal and deal and spiky too. Curtis, go ahead, Oldest. Oldest is actually pretty, pretty darn good. Uh, I think the bandana is what we want here. It's got three blocks. I'm sorry, it can block three physical and deal a physical quick. Here's the hand axe, bash and slice in the street jacket. Yeah, let's go bandana. All right. Okay, plenty of options that aren't skeletons. Let's see if we can fare well. Uh, the fire imp should be the easiest. Uh, five health, we can take. Oh, the goblin. Six health, though. How about we put a fire imp here? And we put a goblin here. Come on, oldest. With your bandana. All right. Now we'll block one. We'll block one from the fire imp. Come on. Are oh, you like this? Oh, this is not the right type. We use oi. Uh, great. We have to waste an unblockable. We have to waste an unblockable because Fire Imp did zero things. Here's oi. Come on. Unblockable. Here's the shift. We get to draw. All right. So now we have three cards in our hand. Finally. And then we can do... Get out of here. Go work, oldest. A spyglass. There we go. We already knew I was taking the spyglass, family lamb. Don't even pretend you didn't know. I don't want to drag this out too far, but we need to make sure oldest can handle the skeleton. How about we put this here? We put this here. And we can put that guy out here. Huh? 
All right. Keep your movement, oldest. A mimic. We we're able to handle mimics. We're able to handle mimics. We've we've done mimics before. Don't even pretend we haven't. Now they do this here. He does here. Mimic. All right, oldest. Here's a test. Here's a test. Oh, mimics are pretty darn good. Here's repel. Yeah. Go ahead, Spiky. Uh, how do you like this? All right, what we got now? Nice try, jump. There's no pain. Here's a Spiky. Acid fog. Acrid fog. How about we catch you with the... Oi. Yeah. Shout out to Range that spyglass making us a we go first. Oh, this is this is good. Good now we deal double uh, an extra, I should say. And we draw Curtis. Um, that looks like it. Good old mimic. Yeah, yo, spiky. All right, the tricorn, the tricorn is slicing dice versus repelling shift. But the tricorn combined with something else. What was the other one? I think it was a. a it was the hat. No, it wasn't the hat. It was like the body, the clothing. It will give us Blade 7. <laughs> blade 4. Uh, do I want to switch Repel? Uh, I think this is what I want. I think I want Slice and Dice here. Oh, I lose Shift too. I think I want Slice and Dice. Wait. Wait. The crossbow though. Fleet Footed? We'll do three damage and it's all unblockable. And it'll go first. And interrupt will also deal two. Oh. I'm thinking. I'm thinking crossbow, Curtis. Yeah, let's go crossbow. Let's keep that, that defense for just now. For just now. Alright, we need to make our way over over yonder. Let's see. Let's put that guy out here. Thank you. Or the diamond. And we can do that. And I think that's it, actually. We're not going to level up. We're not going to level up anymore. It's a trap. It's a very clever trap. Here we go. One and two. All right, oldest. All right, oldest. Here we go. Uh, how about I put this here? In case we need a panic room. We can put this here. And we're not gonna... Actually, let's put the skeleton here. That way we don't have to deal with any of the fountains. The fountains are, are bad. Fountain of Decay and Fountain of Conceal are bad. Alright, if this is successful, which it will be, I have to throw away a card. So let's use Interrupt just so that. Just so that. Now we're stuck with one card per turn. Yeah, we only get this is a this is a very straightforward battle here on out because of that one move. Ooh, let's block, let's block, and he takes another. Yeah, yo. come on, Gooblin. Yeah, yo. it's over, it's over, it's over. The arcane wand will lose interrupt and fleet footed, which we just got. Paper crown will lose repel and fleet footed. We'll lose Repel and Fleet Footed. This is not. This is not opportune, ladies and gentlemen. We'll just take some guy out. All right, Skeleton. You're about to get the business. I'll put this. Ooh, that one can't go there. I can't go there either. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, that's not good. How about we put this here? And Scorpio. Okay, good. Here we go. Come on, Skeleton. Getting a vengeance. Revenge. Uh, he's gonna do two physical and take one himself. Get out of here. Uh, he's gonna do one physical to nobody. Curtis! Spook. Ooh, unblockable. Yeah, go ahead, Fleet Footed. Actually, let's do this. We can block him completely. We'll still get one in, and then we'll get an, uh, uh, another because of Spiky. And another because of range, right? Spiky. Oh, no. Did I do that wrong? Did I do the math wrong there? He took one. 
Yeah, and, and he gained one damage. Yeah, okay, yeah, that worked, that worked right. I'm glad they have the history here. I'm about to say, how, how did I do that math wrong? I could have I did it right. Here's Fleet Footed. Yeah! Well, now, this is just really quite surprising. Thanks to you, I've lost a wager. Against all odds, you're surviving. Next time, I hope you find more danger. All right. Well, isn't that just well? Uh, this says a scar is now in its final stage. I, I still don't think I figured out what the scars do. Oh, early stage doesn't mean you have that early in the battle. It means how advanced they are. It's like it's kind of like experience that sticks with them. Oh, okay, that I, that makes sense now. Okay, so hardhead, you gain two health, but you start with one less uh, card in your hand. It actually makes the bruiser really dangerous to play with, because as you just saw, we got stuck in one um, we got stuck in one card in our hand the entire time. Kenton the cat burglar. All right, I'm I'm here for it. I'm down for it. Let's expand the guild before we go. How about that? We could expand. Oh, no, we can't. That's right. We're skint broke. Everything's 500. Everything's 500. It'll be okay. 